walking round in circles, wondering where to start. This long overdue conversation, lies are falling apart, a wave tossing and turning. There we go. <clears throat> well, you should have a good. I'm not playing the office. I'm playing my own music. How dare you lie? Hi, everyone. Hi. Why not? If I actually, you know, put the truck in a gear I can start driving with. We are back on American Truck Sim this weekend. Didn't really have anything to do on the Nebraska Farm Series, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. How about that? I try and figure this out at least to the best of my abilities. Why are we stream sniping though, Mr. Dr. Sheep? Why why are we stream sniping? Please explain. Along the stream, I have not decided yet. We'll just kind of uh, kind of go off of what we're going to go with. I, I haven't really decided. Saturday streams are going to be a lot more low intensity streams compared to TikTok streams because we don't do this we don't do song requests we don't do any of that stuff we just kind of have fun with this but i gotta go pick up a load I, now the title says i want to be hauling i want to be hauling soap but i can't really haul soap in this game there's no real soap loads unless to my knowledge but i got a tanker inspired by mr andy himself i'm gonna work to get an actual andy clean rig but for right now this is the best i can do on the road again I just can't wait to get on the road again And get my Angels to work what the heck's going on with my, with my shifter Hang on a minute. So we got nine it Should be an oh, that's right. This is only there's no way this This is only a 13 speed truck. Whoops We're doing good today. We're kind of figuring out this truck. I've yet to drive this truck I bought it, but I didn't I didn't give it a I didn't give it anything yet. 13 speed, not an 18. That's right, this is not a heavy haul rig. Yes, we can absolutely spam Jerry's. What What question is that? You can absolutely spam Jerry's. Hello everybody though, welcome in on this glorious Saturday morning. I am your host, Chandler Buck. If you guys have not already, consider hitting that little like button. We got 48 glorious viewers in. We're going to be driving on an America Truck Sim. We are currently right now in Montana. Not 100% sure of the city. I think I was in, like, somewhere by... I'm somewhere up by Shelby, I think. We're going to go pick up ourselves a load of chemicals and head down to Utah. So look at all them glorious cherries in the chat. Look at them beautiful pineapples. Oh yes, we are going to be just cruising around the U.S. in our glorious Peterbilt 389 with a tanker. At least to start it off, we're going to be doing that. And then we, of course, will be doing our half-hour push-ups to do our goal. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be doing the uh, light goal yet. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat one. But you guys can prove me wrong. You can really prove me wrong. Spongebob. Yo, we were jamming to Spongebob last night. We had Spongebob Squarepants theme song and Sweet Victory played last night. We were jamming. It was an absolute blast. I've used the Mud Mod in 22, but I could really care less. Absolutely not. We need to get a heck of a lot higher goal if we're going to be doing 70 push-ups. That's way too low. We're talking at least easily a thousand likes. I ain't letting you guys off that easy. I got to give you guys an actual challenge if you wanted to do that. We finally found the threshold on TikTok. It's 700,000. And we've only been able to get about three, 400,000 for the last few nights. We had the one or two nights where we hit the million and 700 and I think an 800,000 night. But we haven't had as potent of a night the last week. The first week we were going nuts. Top speed run. 
I don't know if this truck can actually get really that uh, high on top speed, just because it's it's not an 18 speed, it's only a 13 speed. I'd probably top out at about 98. It's got the 800 horsepower, it's like the 700 horsepower Caterpillar in this thing. I don't know, you guys got a ways to go. If we're gonna be doing 500 likes for that, I can do 500 for 50. 500 for 50, I can do that. But you guys got a ways to go. We gotta light this thing up. We're only at 29 right now. I'll let the bus end, but I ain't letting that Mustang end. You're gonna have to sit there and wait. I uh, couldn't really tell you. Probably maybe a four-hour stream. I got a bit more time on Saturdays than I do usually. I'm going to turn up my music just a hair. There we go. Just get a little bit more of that in there. We got 64 glorious viewers. We got Thomas coming in with the first super chat of the day. How did they get my caskets at 22? At a 3D model, I know how to make a lot of uh, simple interactive controls or just basically props that are functional. So that's pretty much how I did that. And my father being a mortician, I kind of was able to get some inside things as to how that whole process works. So I tried to make it somewhat as legit as possible without basically making it weird. But it doesn't matter, it's a casket, it's already weird. But thank you for that glorious $2, buddy, I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely a great contact. When your guy, when your dad is the guy who prepares the deceased for the afterlife, you kind of have some connections. Worked out for 30 minutes, nice. I got, uh, I got up out of bed, that was my workout. I didn't want to leave it. I didn't really get to sleep very well last night. I woke up like three times in the night. I don't sleep too good. You guys sleep, how, how well do you guys sleep at night? Do you guys get like what, four hours, eight hours? Do you sleep at all? Do you just only sleep? I try to sleep and it usually never happens. I'll lay my head down, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go to bed. Lays in bed at 10 o'clock. Last time he looks at the clock, it's like 2.45 in the morning. About five hours, 12 hours. Yikes. You guys are gonna be getting lucky over here. I'm seeing numbers where it's like, bro, I wish I got that. At least consistently. Lucky, yes, I see you, Emily. Dylan, I saw you were in here right at the beginning. Howdy do, howdy do, Dylan. Five isn't bad, five's not bad at all. That's probably like, an, if I were to say I got a good night of sleep, I'd probably hit about five or six hours. Other than that, I'm usually about a four and a half guy. Like, legitimate good sleep, probably only about four. No, well, I'm in, I'm in college age, but I am not in college. I did not do anything. I graduated high school, and I've been full content creator ever since. Thomas with another $2. No, you were not able to help in the homeowner series, buddy. The homeowner series is my own private save. But thank you for asking, and thank you for that glorious $2. Do appreciate that, buddy. Can we get a thumbs up in the chat for that? I kind of miss the... I don't have the TikTok effect thing. And there's probably ways to set something up, but it's an OBS instead of TikTok Studios. How's Jerry's day going? Jerry's doing fine. He's had a pretty rough, r rough couple days. He's been, he's been partying with the cup and the big butt hat, which is fitting because we're actually in Montana. I've been trying to learn how to drive better in this game because you know. It, it, I really did suck at, at driving for a while. Look at that thumbs up. Out of, out of gents, out of gents. But no, I'm trying to work on actually driving better in this game because I suck at driving sometimes. It's a little bit easier to read chat though when we do American Truck Sim versus Farm Sim because Farm Sim, the chat goes by relatively quick, but the, I would I would take reading chat for YouTube 10 times out of 10 over reading TikTok's chat because TikTok's chat, you can't have a slow mode and you have like 400 people at a time in there sometimes. Like the highest we've had is 800 people. You try reading 800 people's chats at once, it's physically impossible. You know, you hallucinate tractors. Uh, you can't drive a tractor, but you can haul a tractor. If that's what you're asking. 
I do know Welker Farms. I have actually met them personally for the last two years at Farm Progress, and we sing happy birthday to my mother every year that I go now. It is a tradition. As long as I'm able to go, or as long as I'm able to see them, I make sure I'm the last in the meet and greet line on whatever day I can make it to their booth, and then I... I, I call my mother because it falls, uh, her birthday falls on the week of Farm Progress, and we sing happy birthday to her. But we are now in Butte, Montana, so there is where our location is. Yeah, I could, I could agree to that, Emily. You make mods for this game? Nice. I'm currently in the market for a 389. It's got a couple custom features and a drop tanker that I can haul soap in, but I've already got it. I thought I had a deal worked out, and then apparently it looks like I got scammed out of a lot of money. Not really a lot of money, but. For a guy who claimed he had a huge track record and had absolutely fantastic mods and that he had so many people praising him, man, you sure as heck have a really bad reputation for responding to anybody who actually sends you anything. Never buying from him again. We got 389 with digital dash. Nice. Nice. There we go. Now we can sit in line for a little bit. That's a plus. Oh, just I talked to a guy that I've been in the Facebook group with for probably two, three years now. Just never really did anything with it. It was an ATS mod group. And I talked to the business chat and said, hey, you got a 389, a Western Star, and a and one of these tankers that are like this, or a box trailer that I could possibly put some custom schemes on? I was like, yeah, absolutely. I knew it was going to be paid mods. ATS mods are usually paid ones if you're getting anything good. Talked out the deal, sent the money, never got the mods, and then I tried talking back to him, and he just basically ghosted me. So I said, all right, you are an absolute dumpster fire. I blocked him from my group, and I never want to talk to him again. Wasn't able to get my money back, so screw that. Roll call. I need. I need to, we need to get. We need to get my mind off of people scamming me. I'm getting tired of people scamming me. Again, anybody in this world just be half decent. A half decent human being. How hard is that to be a half decent human being anymore? I honestly don't care for the new 9RX. I just don't care for the proportions of the hood. The rest of the tractor is not bad, but I could care less about the rest of the tractor. Just it, the rest of the tractor looks half decent, but then the, after that, I just don't like the shape of it. North Carolina, Lafayette, Indiana. We got a, I've, I've seen Lafayette in here a couple times. Michigan, Missouri. Portugal. Hey, we got some international. Nice. New York, not the city. Okay. I see you. From Albany, then. Iowa. You. Nice. Georgia. Indiana again. Iowa. No, nope. I was already seen that one. Tennessee. I, oh, I need to go here. Need to go here. Need to go here. My bad. I was reading chat. I'm doing pretty good right now. We're just kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing with myself, doing with my life. Trucking. We're trucking in Peterbilt's. No, I have not heard about Kick, nor am I really have any time to look into it, invest any time into it. I got YouTube and TikTok, and that's all I need for right now. Home of the cheese. Yes. And dairy. Wait, was that... Was it just me or was that a slam... A slam advertisement board to Calvin Klein? Because I could have sworn that said we're not models. Wait a minute. I almost want to go back and figure it out. <laughs> well, we're not going to be switching hats today, guys. If I'm going to switch hats, then we're going to really only be doing it like once or twice. Because I got trucker caps on this time, and we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep it pretty simple. Keep it low end. Saturday streams are pretty much reserved now for just low intense stuff. You guys want the real action? You gotta come into TikTok streams. Those are where the action happens. Hardly, I could hard, I couldn't tell you whether or not I'm gonna be in any more grants of videos, and if I do, it's gonna be mainly cameo appearances. Consistently, though, no, I will not be in Grant's videos anymore consistently. Not by a mile. Thomas with another $5 Do I Racing series. 
See, the problem with doing a lot of other content, though, guys, is that you got to think of the fact that I work on an algorithm style. So would I love to do iRacing? Absolutely. I would adore it. But YouTube does not like me doing it because they say, boo you, this year you're, you are stuck and strapped to farm sim. That is the only thing that we will make you work for your channel. So I can't really be doing other games because they will perform like absolute dog water. It doesn't matter if it's presentation or not. That's the same way Need for Speed Heat is. I could do that exact same video in farm sim and it would do 16 times better for no legitimate reason. I just stream on TikTok throughout the weekdays at night. We start those streams at about 7 p.m. Central Time, and we go till 10 p.m. We are trucking in American Truck Simulator. We're probably going to be picking up our load of, I think this one's chemicals. I don't even care anymore. They're just giving me headlight usages. Half the time, usually California, it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon. They're like, you're not, you're not using your headlights. We're going to haul ourselves a load of chemicals. Oh, I missed my spot. I was like, where are we? I just don't have the time anymore to be working with Grant side by side like I used to. So I am building and working on my own, my own company, which is TikTok, YouTube, and really outside my own networking. And to do that, you have to take time. It is... It's a commitment thing, and I have to be committed to the cause of building, and to do that, you have to make sacrifices. Where am I, I going to be tonight? I don't even think my voice can support Bo Duke's Yeehaw right now. It's just been shot from screaming and singing last night. I mean, we were doing Barbie Girl in a Barbie World and all that. Could have backed that in doing it in first person, but I just got lazy. No, I'm not. TikTok is only weekday streams. I don't have enough time to do that. The only way we might stream TikTok tonight is if I do a little bit of live streaming at the Royal Grove. I'm going to be at Greg for the White Lie party. I got to make one more short, I think, today, probably closer to this afternoon, plus an announcement of my TikTok winners that got a part of my uh, colleague Liz. My colleague Liz from Ignite Nutrition, if you guys know the shorts that I've been making when I'm over there, she is supplying, she supplied uh, three energy tea is as a giveaway if we got 500,000 likes and we did hit that goal so i have three winners from the tiktoks that are channel subscribers and they will be receiving that i just have to make the video announcing who that was favorite car 2012 ford mustang boss 302 with the white ball shifter and recaro racing seat package i gotta find myself a hotel though because i hate driving at night You gotta head out? All right, well, thanks for stopping by, bud. Your energy is so different. Mm. I don't know about that, but if it is, then I appreciate that, buddy. I, I try to do my best, it's just I gotta, I, my biggest problem is that I'm only one person and I try to do so much. I gotta learn how to stop doing that. Once I learn how to stop doing that, though, we'll be golden. We are officially now rolling in on 20, no, 12 minutes. Yes, 12 minutes until our first set of push-ups, though, for the half hour mark on the buck stream. So if you guys want to tune in for the Bucks Gym 10 push-ups every half hour we live stream portion of the stream. That is a lot of time saying the word stream, but I don't care. We'll be doing that in 12 minutes. Hi, Mom. This is my mom, everybody. Hi, Mom. Every tractor, John Deere 5020. You might say hi to my mom, though. There's my mom. We are now up to 60 glorious likes. That is fantastic. Well, I appreciate that, buddy. I try my best. Retro Bowl, a Retro Bowl, though, coming in with the first Super Chat of his, of my stream. It is a $1 Super Chat. I thank you, buddy. I do appreciate that. 
Got 87 glorious people in here though with 61 likes. If you guys have not already, please consider hitting that little like button and possibly hitting the little subscribe button on YouTube. What we kind of do for a content schedule is I release a video every Tuesday and Thursday, usually towards the later hours of the evening, more towards primetime television. So it could be five o'clock, could be six o'clock. And if I'm doing really good and on schedule, then we will have it out by around four o'clock. But towards streaming wise, we stream live on YouTube Saturdays starting around 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Time. And then TikTok streams are Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. According to if I A, can be doing it then, or B, we are uh, right on schedule. The favorite tractor is a John Deere 5020. Oh boy, Lieutenant Dan, one of the greatest farm sim TikTokers out there. If you guys have not already, be sure to also go and follow that man, Lieutenant Dan on TikTok. He streams live almost every other night, if not every night to my knowledge, for a couple hours. He's from up in the great state of Minnesota. Favorite truck is the 2011 to 2016 Ford Super Duty, the last of the steel bodies. I do like my OBSs. I do like the brick noses i do like the bull noses but my personal favorite just for the sake of modernization with still built-in built in ruggedness is that last of the steel body fords well hello there yes if you guys did not know oh there's a trooper found a trooper everybody everybody laugh at him but no I am, uh, I am officially an uncle as of now, I believe, two weeks now. Uh, no. It'd be a week. Two weeks. No, it would be two weeks. It'd be coming up on two weeks now. I'm officially Uncle Buck. My sister had her child, Mr. Lucan, and uh, officially makes me the brand new Uncle Buck. I've been killing it. Well, but, but I had you guys to help me, though. I, you guys had to help kickstart my rear end to get on the TikTok platform. Soda brand. So, soda. If I can't have my 1919 craft root beer, if I cannot have root beer, then I only want to drink Pepsi. I like Pepsi. I'm a Pepsi guy. I need to get myself an Andy Clean hat. That's what I need to get. That's what we're technically trying to haul. Stay in your lane, stay in your lane. Nah. I'm not a big orange soda guy. I mean, Fanta's not bad, but I'd much rather just have either a root beer or a Pepsi than I would a, like a, a, a grape or orange. I mean, cream soda's not bad, but I just, I'd rather, if I was to sit down, I'd grab a can of pop, I'd have a root beer, and that's about it. Root beer's always been my favorite. What truck am I driving? I'm driving a Peterbilt 389. We will pop back outside, but it's kind of pointless to show it right now because uh, you can't see it, and I can't find a rest stop to get a little bit of shut-eye in. But once we can find a rest stop, we will definitely, and I mean definitely, be kicking it over to the morning hours. It is a lime green, though, truck. Well, not lime green, it's John Deere green. Sun kiss orange is a yes? Yes? Mm. I just never really cared for the fruit the fruit pops. Like, yeah, every now and then they're good, but I just could never really get behind them. You subscribe to the channel, I appreciate that, buddy. I don't really follow baseball at all, so I couldn't tell you. You had an option for a 429. If that was the case, sign me up, because that's the only old Mustang that I really want. Yes, I like the GT. Yes, I like the 350, the 350 Shelbys. But, oh, hang on just a second. Hold on. Oh, you're just picking up garbage. I got you. Never mind. We just got gentlemen picking up uh, stuff outside. Maintenance. 
Any big buds in FS22? This is not FS22, but we have somebody having a problem right now on the side of the road. I probably missed a rest stop there for just a second. Oh! Camaro's got to stop slamming on his brakes. Uh. Time bandits. I've heard of the time bandit, but not time bandits. You guys know crab fishing, the time bandit. Oh, that was a good boat. There actually already is a Diamond Rio. That's the only reason that Chad actually has the Diamond Rio. Is because it's in Farm Sim. This is not this is not Farm Sim. This is this is uh, ATS. Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper is a nut mm, oh, there's a rest station. Hang on. Dr. Pepper's not bad. I would definitely drink it over, say, like Mountain Dew. I would have a Mount I'd have a Dr. Pepper before I had a Mountain Dew. I, I've never heard of them, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of a anti-social, lived under a rock as a child for some of that stuff. How do you get the pineapple? So the pineapple is for the members of the stream. If you are a channel member, you have the ability to unlock all of the custom emotes that are accessed by those lovely people. It is a paid subscription, though, so you guys do not have to do that, but if you want access to it, you have to have a paid membership. Or be lucky enough and have been gifted one by one of our other fabulous viewers. Sleeping it off, heading to the morning hours, though. Here is answering your question of the truck that we are driving. We are driving a Peterbilt 389 with some tall stacks, a higher sleeper cap, and a... Oh, no! 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 Oh, I just... Well, I'm not, I'm not driving at night again, so looks like we're going to be 4 o'clock in the morning. Dang it. This load just went late. Dang it. Okay, well, there it answers your truck. Hope you got a good view of it because we're not seeing it again for another couple hours. <laughs> we got some good rest, though. I wish I, was able to, I wish I was able to sleep like that. Why are you, what are you stream sniping, buddy? There's nothing to stream snipe. elders yeah absolutely just gotta just, just cuts off a truck that's hauling 40,000 pounds like yeah we're gonna be able to stop yeah I'm not feeling tired of course I'm not I just slept 12 hours I'd hope I'd be I just slept like literally 24 hours I'd hope I'm not tired where are we from today I am from the great state of Nebraska Buddy, buddy, there was nobody coming and you just decided to go full steam ahead right into me. That was his fault. I could, honestly, I could care less about the draft. I guys, sports stuff, like I watch sports, but I really am not a, I need this guy to win and this guy to win because I'm placing sports bets on everything. I just watch them if they're on. Bucks Jim, oh yes. We have actually a uh, minute and a half, though, before we have to do this, but thank you for the reminder. Eh, Nebraska's sucked in sports for the last 20 years anyway. The only thing Nebraska's good at anymore is wrestling and volleyball. That basketball's been doing good this season, though, so. It really did used to be the thing. It still makes us the most money. It just sucks that we put so much money into a program that can't even produce any winning seasons, but... I think that's slowly about to change. I feel this year we'll at least do something good. We're going to keep on trucking, and hopefully within the next probably hour and a half, we will be doing uh, a little bit better on... Oh, we're now in Idaho, though. Anybody in here from Idaho? 
Any of our 98 glorious viewers from Idaho, the state of Idaho, the land of potatoes, where they drop the potato for the ball. That's right. Baseball has done pretty good as well, but I, I don't follow Nebraska. I don't follow any baseball, like literally none. because we have been doing that. But we are now 30 minutes in, so I'm going to do the smart thing and pause my game quick. If you guys are new to the Rental Man Buck streaming software platform, what we do is every half hour of our day, we drop down to stay active and do 10 glorious push-ups. That way we keep our body up and moving and, move and fluing because we don't want to be sitting and doing all that stuff and with no no movement. So let's drop down to our 10 glorious push-ups. You guys want to join in with me? Go right ahead. But then we will get right back to trucking right after this. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. There is our 10 push ups for the half hour. I'm going to switch up my hat really quick to another retro trucking cap. We're heading to the bush hog. Put our microphone back, and we are ready to lock and load. to go around you I'm getting going but I need to squeeze in for the weight station oh I'm not gonna make that cut off I'm not gonna make the cut off I'm jumping in with him I'm doing my driving skills I went to driving school everybody I'm a professional I'm a professional look at that see a professional would a, a non-professional would have hit those those things Northeast Nebraska nice I presume Sioux City area possibly Ponca maybe Norfolk Nice truck. Thank you, buddy. Once we're in the light, we'll definitely be able to get outside a little bit and see it a bit more, but uh, I kind of did the stupid thing, and I slept for too long. I hit the button accidentally, and we could have just been driving in the daytime, but nope. How can I forget when I met Junkyard Diggs? I stared at the guy for like five minutes going, how on earth do I know this dude? And then the uh, two and two clicked together. I just didn't really, I forgot that his name was Kevin. Everyone kept calling him Kevin. I was like, who's Kevin? Then I was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know this dude. And then I laughed. We are doing pretty great. We're just kind of doing some low intensity American truck sim. Having some fun on this Saturday morning. I know a lot of Kevins. I, I literally walk around and I'll just meet people. Like I was, I was talking to a guy at... Home Depot one time and I looked at his name tag his name tag said Kevin I was like you know you're like the 40th Kevin that I've met today Seventy thousand pounds that's a lot heavier than I thought we would be What are we hauling we are hauling I believe it's uh, We're hauling pesticides, but this is technically what Andy always said he wanted to have Andy clean to haul in was one of these giant drop tankers. So we're gonna quote unquote say we're hauling soap. This is good soap. The wheel do I use? Logitech G27. You guys actually didn't know though. The company, I think it's Moza? Moza Racing. They are coming out with a new steering wheel that I'm I might be looking into investing in. Or if I can lucky enough to get myself a little sponsor deal. Hey, I'm here. We actually might be getting another one. It's a truck steering wheel. It's a literally at a... Could you not just slam? I hate the brakes in this truck. This, is, this truck's brakes are terrible. But there is literally a truck, like truck steering wheel. It's got buttons and it looks like a truck sim steering wheel. And it, it, it looks awesome. It is an amazing looking wheel. But I'm excited to look into that because that's that's definitely something cool. They said there's like a truck mount. I have yet to see what the truck mount looks like. Like what's the difference? Does the wheel instead of being mounted? Does the wheel that I got in front of me, it sits like this. My hand rotated right. It sits about like this. I'm wondering if the truck wheel means it sits like this. Red line. That 
that's probably what, I, yeah, I think that's what that truck mount is. I was, I was asking, I saw them uh, streaming it the other day, and there's somebody like giving an overview of the wheel from Moza, but I was like, yo, what's the truck mount look like? Like, what is that? That would make sense that it's just like a tilt thing. Who's the favorite person that I've met? Uh, Welkers have been pretty great. Uh, Grant's been a fantastic person. Spencer's been a great, fantastic person. Jake's been great. I honestly, they're all great people. I can't pick one. You can't pick that because it's just the experience of being able to say you've done it. Yes. Bro, okay, so you guys obviously have been seeing that we're now Idaho Falls. I know you guys have seen it popping around the one guy who did the farm sim setup inside of the old case combine cab. It's like the guy with the yellow, the guy with the yellow hat, the yellow pants or something. The guy with the yellow shirt, something of that nature. Like 12 people, I kid you not. Literally, I believe it was eight, to eight people in total sent me that video or tagged me in it. And like, I have no ability to acquire this. Why are you tagging me? <laughs> Favorite truck in the game. In this game, it's probably this 389 Viper. But if I could get my hands on a good copy of one, I want my 380. I want my uh, 4900 Western Star Lomax. Eventually, we'll get some more American farming content in Farm Boy. It's just again the content schedule. It's what might not seem like a lot for just two days worth of content. You have to like put into effect of all of the other content that is made on the channel throughout a day's period. So, setup, planning, executing, recording, editing, posting. It's a whole day's 40 hour work week by like Wednesday at 4 o'clock before it even starts. So, hopefully soon, but I can't promise anything on when. the wheel does sit more like this that's what I figured but I don't know if I could technically do that because my current setup as is is set up it's more like a car this is a car cockpit not a truck co cockpit I'm thinking that wheel setup would be better if my seat sat this is gonna sound hilarious but I have to get a booster seat and be sitting up like this where the wheel would be sitting more at an angle like that and make more sense Old school, soon to be up in the queue of the videos. I always try and keep those in a, in a cycle. So I have to go through the cycle of what series has not played yet. I think it's either old school or Prairie State that'd be up next. But the problem with Prairie State is that it's also like now incorporated with the Nebraska Farm Series. So anytime I do Nebraska Farm Series, Prairie State has a very heavy influence in that series now where it's almost like you can tag team the two. You, you get yourself, you get yourself a tiny lizard mini bike and call it a tax write-off. That's what you do for your landscape garage. Bucks farming. That'd be what I have to do. <laughs> Bucks farm. We got the buck farm. If I ever became a hay farmer, just nah. We ain't going to the hay farm. We're going to buck farm. We got buck farm hay. Hay farm buck. Go down to the coffee shop. We got the hay farm buck buck. Got the buck, got the buck buck hay farm. That'd be funny if I had chickens, too. They could, they could literally be the Buck Buck Hay Farm. Buck Buck's Hay Farm. Hello, okay, we're hitting 8 o'clock traffic this morning, though. Definitely hitting 8 o'clock traffic. That or we are getting into the big city. If you were referring to that one house that sits like this, uh, the little, like, T-shaped ranch house, that is not a console mod. But in all fairness, that house is actually really, really rough. I wouldn't want to use that in 22. It was good for its time, but it was like one of those mods that just needed to be retired. Yes, if they're gonna be, if they're gonna do Ameri if they're gonna do the fire DLC, then you might as well just put in an American fire suit. Like, I get it that why the European one, it's there, but. Just, just put in the other version. Like, if you're trying to be more American, do, do it right, please. Like, come on, Giants. Well, it was the Giants that did the mod, but... It's like, if you're gonna do it, do it right. I do not make console mods.
just me getting shot at it with paintballs by Col I have literally been shot at with paintballs by Junkyard Diggs, Cole the Cornstar, Scott the Tire Guy from Titan, Garrett Plays, Spencer Hilbert, and probably one or two more faces. There were seven paintball guns that day, so whoever was firing at me, there was I had a I've had a lot of famous people shoot a, a paintball gun at me. Now that's an honor that I you gotta live with. Yet it's 250 miles? Well, I'm not 100% sure on that. Why does everybody have to check my weight? Guys, I swear, I did not eat that gas station burrito. I do I just pick the absolute worst route? Okay, thanks to the, uh, we just probably blew up the block. Cylinder 5 has left the chat. Are you a Cardinals fan? Yes, I am. For my NFL fans, uh, I am a Arizona Cardinals guy. Not really like a sit down and watch them every single Sunday, but if they're on and I have nothing else to do, then I might pop on and watch a game. <clears throat> if you guys actually go look on Cole the Corn Star's video that he did on Farm Progress two years ago when we were over in Boone, there's actually a small segment of the video where you guys can see me getting shot at with paintballs. And I think that he also put the portion in where Garrett tells the camera, he's like, are you ready to shoot him? He's like, yes, I was born ready for this. I'm like, thanks, Garrett. Glad you wake up in the morning ready to shoot me with paintballs. I feel real loved. Dub YouTuber, I appreciate that, buddy. We try to have a lot of fun here. And for anybody checking in, we are now exactly 19 minutes away from doing our next set of the Bucks Gym 10 push-ups for a half hour mark. If you also have not considered hitting that little like button, I really would appreciate that too. We got 116 viewers in here with 89 likes and in total, three glorious, well, three generous gifts that we were given by, I feel bad now not remembering what his name was. But if I do the TikTok thing, it tells me how many people have gifted. So you guys do not have to do that, but I will acknowledge it. We've had three very generous super chats today. And we're going to keep rolling on this. You are listening to 1-800-THE-BUCK. This is our weekend schedule, which is more of a podcast, sit down, and chit chat. During the week, though, we light it up with a Buck streaming playlist, which can be found in my YouTube's community tab. And you guys can listen to over 400 great hit songs. TikTok streams are lit. I just don't like keeping up with as fast as the chat goes. It's been nice to just come back to YouTube on the weekends, and then it's just such a lower intensity. It's just like I can read the chat, I can communicate with you guys, I can actually breathe, because TikTok, it's... Answer this, answer that, answer this, sing Toby Keith, answer this, answer that, answer this, sing another song, answer this, answer that, and then we're going up down to this, now we're singing down low, hold on, now we gotta do no more push-ups, it's like you are constantly talking for three and a half hours, there is not a single moment that is silent in a TikTok stream. Have you seen the race trucks? If you're talking about like the Craftsman or the, is it, is it still the Craftsman truck series, I think? I don't, I don't know exactly what, what day that would be. For all of you people that are joining in, though, and haven't seen what we are currently driving, we are driving a Peterbilt 389, hauling a chemical tanker. We have some pesticides with us right now. I wish I could be hauling the world's greatest farm sub, though, Andy Clean. This is kind of my Andy Clean-inspired rig until I can get an actual Andy Clean rig. We are totally not changing lanes. I did not do that. Slow traffic ahead. Okay, who put the Chevys out? Who let the Chevy out of the garage? I'm getting over before I hit the Cadillac. Hang on, who caused it? Was it a Beamer? It's a Beamer, a Buick, and a two, there's two Buicks. Ha <laughs> ha, GM, somebody let the Chevys out. Who let the General Motors out on the, on the road? Yeah, there also is a lot more viewers though as well. A, sci, a CFI truck? I don't think I have a CFI truck. We could definitely put up a poll, though, saying what truck we, we kind of want to do next. I just wanted to start off the stream by driving out my Andy Clean-inspired rig. In honor of Andy, I want to make sure he gets his just doing, because he is a great guy, and I will be with him at a Illinois farm show. I think it's like the Sublet, Sublet uh, Antique Tractor Show. It's a small town about 20 minutes northeast of Prairie State Tractors headquarters in Mendota, Illinois. I believe that is the 16th and 17th. It is St. Patrick's Day weekend. We are now into Utah, so welcome to Utah. Anybody from Utah in this chat? 
What's the weather there? Right now it is, I believe, 45 and sunny. Today's supposed to be a high of like 68 degrees, though, so it's going to be nice and warm weather in the great state of Nebraska. At least where I'm at. I didn't see if it's supposed to be windy, though. I think it's supposed to be windy. Tomorrow's supposed to be really, really nice, though. 67, and I don't think windy at all. I don't think I've seen Boone's race truck at all. What's up? We are having a great time. That's what's up. We got KFC. I skipped breakfast, so that KFC is looking real good right about now. I don't really watch a whole lot of race. Guys, I, to be fair, like what you guys see me doing right now, this is literally what I do for 18 hours a day every single day. The only day that I take off usually is Sundays, but this is usually where I sit, what I'm doing 90% of the time. I don't really get out. I don't really go watch a whole lot of stuff. I am literally just a working machine. I just do my job and I keep going. If I do go watch racing though, I usually watch uh, sprint cars. So I like dirt track racing. Dirt track racing is a lot of fun. It's raining in Pennsylvania. Well, that's not good. Power went out this morning. This place used to have some power blips every now and then. We haven't had, I haven't had uh, nearly as many as it used to be when my mom was here. But, yeah, we just, I, this, this building's always kind of had a problem with some power blips every now and then. Like I said, though, luckily it hasn't really happened ever recently. What happened now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Somebody get the Wambalance out. Oh, boy. No, it's a Ford! No, a Ford. At least the Ford's towing the Ford. It's not a... It's not like it's a... Uh, what do they call those? The... The... Ke what's the name of the... What's the name of the Chevy? The big Chevy. The Kodiak. It's not a Kodiak, or, a, or I don't remember what the GMC's name of the Top Kick. The Kodiak and the Top Kick. You live in Iowa? Nice. No, I, I swear, if I hit one more weight station on this thing, I am going straight to Taco Bell and I am ruining the next rest stops toilet. I swear. I'll do it. Don't make me. I'll show you why it's called the Dollar Menu. Your birthday's on March 23rd. Nice. Happy early birthday. With us, 121 people, because I can actually keep up with you guys. Who has a birthday that is either coming up, just went by, or it is your birthday today? Because we can sing to you guys happy early birthday, happy late birthday, or happy birthday directly. We're doing great. I would eat Taco Bell. I haven't eaten Taco Bell in quite a while, actually. Small fish in a big pond. Tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. Think I go back where I came from. Where everybody knows my name. My friends are still the same. My voice is like, it's still... Ken Word, get... Hey! Get out of my way. I'm supposed to go straight. Great. Now I'm, now I'm holding up traffic. You can blame him for that. God's country. Uh, I gotta see if I can remember to piece together enough lyrics for God's country. I saw the light in a sunrise sitting back in the 40. I'll get you heaven bound. I don't remember enough of the lyrics to do it. I can't find my water. Where's my water? I found my water. We have water. I repeat, we have found the water. How now, buck cow? Pretty good, wolf. Pretty good. We haven't done our push ups yet today. I kind of got, I'm kind of getting behind a little bit. November 12th? Nice. 24th this month. Almost got cut off. Yeah, I know. 
You got to head out? All right. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you uh, popping in on the stream. We'll have to see you guys back on Mondays. Tomorrow we are. It's my day off, basically. It's the one day of the week that I take to rest because I need I need to have good I need to have good adequate sleep and nutritional things too. I gotta take care of myself. Uh oh. Are you telling me you you missed a day? Did you miss a day, Wolf? How dare you? How could you? I have to pop back in on an F one of um, FS Club streams one of these nights again. It's been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys. Should have been a cowboy. Should have been a cowboy. Riding my pony with a shoe. Oh, no. Riding my pony with a six shooters on it. Working on a cattle drive. Stealing a young girl's heart. Just like Gene and Roy. Mm. Atta boy. Atta boy. Uh, I honestly don't know because I don't think I've ever heard of that mod. I don't really do mod reviews though. That that's a video. That's a video style. I'll, I'll let other people do on it because mod reviews to me it's just kind of uh, well, it's really a your the view retention of a video like that is absolutely dog water. You're aggressive on racing games. I can get aggressive, but I hate pack racing games like NASCAR games. I used to love them. But I am so I cannot go into a, into a race where I have everybody literally point two inches from my bumper. I can't keep my line to save my life. Sometimes that's why I like Forza and all of them because it's a lot more open racing. It's like you're only really surrounded by maybe three or four cars, and you're there for a couple seconds. NASCAR, it's three hours of bumper to bumper and smacking and rubbing and rubbing. It's racing. Dirt racing is even worse because you can't control the car sliding up the hill going on bald tires. When does the stream end? Well, right now we are eight minutes away from our push-ups, and I think we're probably going to be making this one go until at least two o'clock. NASCAR Heat 5? That's not too shabby. I watched a video this morning of a guy who got the NASCAR 98 mod for that, Heat 5. It was the funniest thing I ever watched. I mean, this guy's energy was something else. He's just going through the names of the, 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 the things. He goes like... <laughs> it's like, uh, Bo Booby Labani and his brother Terry. It's like, this dude's awesome. Nice. Actually, I think it was a toy show this weekend. It's a diecast one up by my dad's place. I might go to it, but I, no, I wouldn't be able to. Dang it. Out of the way. There it is. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. You know what? We haven't done any. Let's drop a gear and disappear. Okay, drop a cylinder and blow it up. That's basically what we just did. Nice. Let's do a top speed run. This is your Peterbilt mic'd up moment of the day. I gotta find the right camera though for it. Let's we'll see how fast this puppy goes. But well, we're gonna be doing a top speed run right now. So if you guys are just joining in, I don't drive like this regularly, but we are gonna put the pedal to the metal and the thingy to the floor and watch out, because here we go. We are topping over 100. I'm going faster than I thought I could already. Oh, baby, don't tip it, don't tip it, don't tip it, don't tip it, don't tip it. Don't tip it. Woohoo! Can we get to at least 105? We're going downhill. That's a fantasy That's a that's enough of that. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I've learned that it's a good idea to not, to not race in a semi that's fully loaded. That, that could have been bad. 
Wait, so <laughs> what is with these billboards? 1-800 slow-mo runs? <laughs> Bandit, you were reckless. Not Bandit, you're a road hazard. That's what that was. One of these weekends, I gotta do another coast to coast where it's the cannonball run, and we're just taking a sports car and just driving as fast as we can across the US. We do have to get over though, so let's get on our exit. Probably. I didn't even want to look at what the trailer was doing. Use that glorious engine brake. I don't think this game will ever come to console, sadly. It hasn't had any plans to before, but honestly, if it did, it'd be really cool. Bro, why are you just stopping in the middle of the intersection? We are getting kind of low on fuel, though. We are 18 miles away though from our destination, so what I'm gonna do for you guys on the YouTube side is get you involved in a poll. What do we haul next? What should we haul next? Question mark. Obviously it's going to be a heavy haul thing, so we're gonna be hauling a tractor or a bulldozer. Or something other, it's something heavier. So there is your stuff. We'll pretty much let that poll stay up until we get to that. <clears throat> uh oh. Wait a minute. Would be upset if I put a. Cl <laughs> I don't think you'd be mad. I think you'd be like, holy cow, Buck's a part of this community again. Yeah, you, that would that probably works. I mean, I don't think you. I don't think you could play this game. You, if you played it in automatic mode, you could probably play it with a controller. But yeah, you definitely would probably have to have a... Hmm. You probably would have to have something of a steering wheel to be able to play it. We just went $200 in fuel, pretty much. We are gonna have to swap the truck though. We're probably gonna go to my red Peter build because you know, uh, this one's not built to be the heavy, like it's got the powerful engine, but the gearing's not the right. Try to stay in, oh, I don't need to go that far, but it's like stay in my lines, make pigs on. No! <laughs> License and registration. <laughs> that one's bad, that one's bad. That one. <laughs> uh, you'll be back later. All right. Hopefully, we'll still be live by then. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna rot for the. I'm gonna rot for saying that one. <laughs> what the? Who put that tree there? Who was legally allowed to put that tree there? Oh, come on. That's what I get. That's what I get for the big joke. Help us on the way, dear! Help us on the way! PC do I got? I got a technically second generation, second generation Squad Plus Apex gaming PC. The guts of it has been, has been modified though. It is not a stock gaming PC. The tree has beef? Absolutely. True, this, this truck would have literally ripped that tree out of the ground though for what it was hauling. I can't see past that. A pillar though on the side of this thing, so I'm gonna have to go out to this. Rowdy though has now been a member for one month of the Uncle Buck supporters. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for being a part of this wonderful community. I hope you're having a great part of your day. I just gotta find it when this dang door will close so I can. I'm going after this. I'm going for it. I've been sitting there long enough. Way too many traffic. 
I'm not giving you any. I would eat the donut before you got it. I didn't eat breakfast, remember? Hot bank. It looks like, oh, we actually are having tractor win right now. I thought we were going to do something heavier. Apparently, you guys just want to see us haul some tractors. And well, the, tra the tractors aren't really that heavy. If we were doing something heavier, then I would probably go swap to a different truck. But since we're hauling the tractor, I could probably still use this truck. And I can hopefully find something that's deer related. And this truck is painted in the hex color of John Deere Green. So this truck is John Deere. <gasps> beer truck! Beer truck! We got a beer truck. I mean, I wish it was Budweiser, but Coors is a good second. Dude, Scania, though, I love my, I love Scanias. Those things sound so good. They are literally like the best sounding semi. I mean, for the V8s, like European trucks. Because I know all the diesel people are going to start screaming at me, like, Caterpillar's better. Detroit sound good. Dude, Detroit screaming, though, that is another animal. Well, actually, I'd have to haul it to the farm in Nebraska. I don't have Nebraska yet. I'll be interested. Once we have the ability to use Nebraska, you guys will guarantee we're going to be doing some streams in Nebraska. I want to know whether or not what roads they used in Nebraska, though. Making a pit stop. It's not 3 a.m., but it's Denny's. We're going to Denny's, everybody. Here we go. Can, can, what the? It's up, Denny's. We're going to. All right, that was a good. That was good breakfast. I'm glad we stopped at Denny's. This is not a rental. This is this is not a rental. Not at all. Not even the trailer's not. <laughs> ah, yes, the classic red John Deere combine. Now, where on earth is this? Okay, this has got to go back there again. I can do that. Let's let's make this a challenge and actually back this in. Yo, Denny's! Now, this one, I hate these loading bays because that staircase has beef with my suspension. Like, it, it, just, it just hates me. Oh, this is going to be real convenient. Now, where on earth is that? Yeah, there's that. Okay. Whoa. I can't see. Where am I at on the far side? Come on, baby. I gotta, I gotta at least see where I'm going here. Okay, we're on the right track. There we go. Now we're right on the money. Fantastic. We're going to be late because of the fact I slept bad, but that's okay. We have tractor winning, though, so sadly we're not able to do that. Yeah, I, I slept too long. That's the only reason that that did that. But we will dismiss our lovely drop tank and we'll be grabbing one of our low boys and hopefully we'll be able to haul a glorious tractor yes let's relocate this bad boy and we're gonna pick it up in we'll go do this over in Kansas let's head over to Topeka I gotta find my garage though. There it is. Go back over to Topeka. Stampy coming in though. Welcome to the Mr. Gymnastics OG fan level of the membership, buddy. Thank you for joining in on that. Well, have you, I have had little seizures before. Pizza, pizza. Oh man, nobody told me we were now four minutes over our half hour mark. So 
If you guys are new to the Rental Man Buck Stream platform, what we do on our streams is every half hour we do Bucks Gym, which is 10 push ups. Every half hour we're live. But I am four minutes late, so I have to add an additional four push ups to that, making a grand total of 14. Let's drop down, do our 14 push ups, and then we will be trucking our way with a tractor here in just a couple minutes. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Fantastic. That's one short of what we do for our daily push-ups challenge, which today I believe is day 27. I still have to go film and record that. But I'm going to go get food before we do that. We're in Topeka, Kansas, though, getting ready to start our long trek of using some low boys. Let's use this bad boy. Howdy, everybody. We finally got our trailer attached. And we're going to be looking at the job market. Let's see if we can get any tratters. Oh, we can get a big tratter. Oh, not, not where I'm at, though. I need this. Where's this at? Ah, yes. The Caterpillar John Deere. All the way to Oregon, though? I don't know if we can do that. I mean, we could. We got a big bud, though. Do we do the big bud? We could do a big bud. We also got a big dozer, though. A big dozer. We got we got big bud. Do we? We got 148 people in here right now. Do we haul the big bud to Garden City? I think it's only right that we do the big bud. Big bud. Big bud. Big bud. We do need to get some fuel though before we do that. It would, it would only make sense. We got we got to do it right. We could have hauled a sprayer though. I'm not sure what a big butt it is. It is basically the biggest rolling tank of iron that you'll ever see. World's largest tractor, except this is a 450. This is not the big 747. 544 dollars you're from east kansas mullet man with another five well mullet man with five glorious dollars thank you buddy i appreciate that super chat and nice so from northeast kansas i'm trying to think of all the so like concordia uh topeka because right now we're in topeka my dad actually was on the topeka fire department many years ago and we we're just going straight across the road to hitachi Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Made it. We did the jump. Hey, if anybody was wondering, I discovered an agency. I was, mm, that's a rip. I was reading chat. I was reading chat. I, I played the fifth. Uh, I, I honestly, I can tell you I don't know that town because I don't know how to say it. I want to say S Sablina, but that's not right. Give me a landmark. <laughs> Nearest big rock. Jerry, 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 Jerry. Well, sadly, guys, the pole won with the tractor, but this is technically something heavier because, you know, we're hauling a big bud. Now, where is this thing at? Uh, oh, it's a pull through time. Okay, I can do that. I can do this. And pallets better be drive throughable. I know they're not, but they should have been. Come on now, pull it over the hip, pull it over the hump, over the hump, there we go. I don't need tires, who needs tires anyway? There we go, oh we had it, had it for a split second. Bingo, let's load up that big bud. Big butt, big butt, big butt. 200 likes for Jerry. I like that idea. If you guys want to hit that like button, possibly consider subscribing. I really appreciate that as we have a lot of fun here. We have Jerry the Pineapple joining us as our sidekick. So if you guys have the ability to drop that pineapple in the chat. Also for the goat himself, Gary from Ag Swag. Be sure to drop the goat in the chat. 
I want to see some Gary's. I want to see some Jerry's. I want to see some Terry the Turkeys. And I want to see some Tom the Pumpkins. Let's drop them in the chat right now. Get that chat fired up. We need to keep up with something that TikTok does. No tires, only gas. No tires, only gas. Absolutely. No, 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 no. No tires, just gas. No tires, you idiot. We are going to be hauling a 450 Big Bud from Topeka, Kansas to Garden City. So let's get our way on the road. I really would have felt bad if anybody parked in that last parking stall, but that had been their, their fault. We're going to head out on the main interstate and get rolling. I forgot to drop a like. Yes, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate that. We're currently up to 128 glorious likes with 145 big people in here. I love that. You guys are a big part of this community. We couldn't do it without you guys. The only reason I say you guys are big is because I'm five foot seven. So really anybody to me is bigger. I'm short, I'm stubby Bob. Gary, 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 yes. I ain't no Mac, I'm a pier belt for dang sake. Turn on your lights, you moron. <laughs> it's all right, it's finest. Ah, yes, the Big Bud. I love these things. These are like my... Big Buds are definitely up there. I'm not a big fan of like just big, like actual Big Buds. I'm not a huge, huge fan of because I'm not, I don't really care for a lot of their other trackers. But like the 747, not the biggest fan of it, but the 525, love that thing. If Big Bud actually made the sprayer that Welkers had, the Brute, that would definitely be up there in the rankings. I'm gonna have to get over here. Sorry, far, sorry Mustang, I have to cut you off. I can't see the lights anymore. Actually, hang on a minute. We're in a Peterbilt, right? We are in a Peterbilt. What are we doing? What are we doing? I gotta do this, hold on. I gotta do this. We're in a Peterbilt for dang sake. What are we doing? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go down. Now we're in a Peterbilt. <laughs> and W's, let's scoot, let's scoot up just a little bit. Now we're in a Peterbilt. <laughs> Seats all the way down. Not in my town, you don't. Uh, I have no real uh, plans to... Why am I having my turn signal on? I have no plans right now to do anything on Ravenport. Nope. I need to get my map fixed. There we go. I feel like I'm in an actual Peterbilt now. Uh, it is my TikTok live stream. You guys can find the Buck streaming playlist with all of the 400 plus hit tracks that can be found in my YouTube's community tab page. It is completely free and available for you guys. I'm not 100% sure how the Apple Music works if you guys just play it on Shuffle Play, but that is what it is on. I do not have Spotify or Pandora, so it is an Apple Music playlist. But Kyra coming in with all of the Lord Buck Wads, Pimp Vans, Flat Bucks, One Patrick, and the Uncle Buck on a lawnmower. Let's let freedom ring and drop down those windows. When am I gonna update the homeowner series? The homeowner series, if you're talking about like a part two to the cabin build, I'm not 100% sure, but I am about ready to just run into the side of this charger if they don't get their butts out of the way. Get everybody out of the way right now. Peter Bill, coming through. Favorite map on FS22, it kind of depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing farming related content, Green Valley, Nebraska is my top favorite. If I am going over and doing more hay farming, 
I really prefer the console-friendly and cross-platform map, Griffin, Indiana. But if I am doing my homeowners where it's about building a community and working with a bunch of people, then I prefer the PC-only map of Middleburg, New York. The cabin, though, is built on the also console-friendly map, if you guys have the Platinum DLC, of Silver Run. I need to get over, getting over, getting over. I am not, I'm trying to read chat and read this thing at the same time, so I can't pay attention to my directions. The Wi-Fi's been down? Hey, that's all right, buddy. Thanks for coming in. Uh, camping map, probably my Middleburg map, because I made my custom campsites up on the top side of the map where it's like the mountain and the lake. I made the big lake up on top. That's it. Where's my nearest Taco Bell? <laughs> One of my favorite jokes that I've seen where it involves, like, uh, the rest stations is when it's... A SpongeBob, the guy who has to walk into the bathroom, he goes, "Oh yeah, that's real nice." <laughs> the caption of the photo was, "When you have to walk, when you have to go take use the restroom at the pit toilets at the rest stop, it's just the SpongeBob guy." Oh yeah, that's real nice. <laughs> All right, any guesses? We had seventy thousand pounds of chemicals. I'm gonna guess it's about one hundred and twenty. Never mind, eighty-five. Little, little lighter than I thought. Significantly lighter than I thought, actually. Oh, that's right. Griffin, Indiana does have that little campground on the left side, don't they? Let's drop the gear and disappear. Here we go. 75. Look at that. We got some Terry the Turkeys. Favorite truck, uh, if you're talking semis, 4,900, Western Star Lomax. If we're talking pickup trucks, though, it'd be the Ford Super Duty from 2011 to 2016, the last of the steel bodies and the first generations of the 6.7. But I'd get one that's by 2013 and newer because those first two years, it's been claimed that those power strokes had some problems. And that's just because they were working out the kinks of the motor. <clears throat> Imagine, like, modernizing, like, putting a modern, modern, like, 2024 six seven in one of those trucks and then deleting it do you know how many guts that truck would have pulling stuff like that would be awesome uh i presume those are cummins aren't they the c15s i'm more of a if i were to get a diesel though i really like my detroits c15s are nice but not gonna lie I like a Detroit. When Detroit scream, oh, they sound so good. Oh, it's a Caterpillar. But what the heck's the, the Cummins? Oh, that's like a CX-15, isn't it? I, I swear it's a 15 number for the Cummins. Caterpillars are good motors. There was an International that I remember that we had when I worked at the detail shop, and it was a part of the Caterpillars Million Mile Club. We have officially gotten now 139 glorious viewers, 143 likes. So if you guys are in the stream and have not already, consider hitting that little thumbs up button. I would highly appreciate that. We are going to be live probably for another two, no, probably not that. Maybe not that long. We might cut it off about one o'clock. So that gives us about an hour and 15 minutes. For stream time, we have 12 minutes before we have to do our next set of push-ups for the half hour portion of Buck's Gym. An international CXT. I don't know what that is. I feel like that's the really weird looking freight liner. No. No, no, no. No, I'm thinking that that no. No. I completely I'm gonna stop talking before I get myself in trouble on that one. Huh? 73 diesel. I mean if you want a motor that's just so durable because it's technically underpowered, but it's got a lot of a uh, little bit lower low end torque, definitely go with that. Well, you'd have to modernize that thing a little bit if you want to make it really be something. <clears throat> International pickup truck. Ah, I got gotcha. you. You're about to get... I wish I could go get food. 
I need to go get food. I need to eat. Do any of you guys eat? How many of you guys like either skip breakfast or eat breakfast? Who all here eats? Who decides to eat food? Put food down your gullet. The graphics card that I have is a NVIDIA 2060 Super. You skip? I felt that. I skip more than I should. It's like, you, you, you eat, you skip, you eat, you skip, you eat, you skip. Uh, we're, just, we're just going back and forth now. The, ne the next one better be skip. Ah! Oh, you ruined the pattern, man. Yo, what's up, Happy? Brody? Brode's Happy? We just trucking in an ATS. That's all we're doing this morning. I want to wish what I really need to start doing and getting better at is just having time built into the day where it's like you get at least something for a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just, it might not have to be just big meals, but a balanced nutritional diet throughout the day it's definitely a difficulty to do because we obviously all can't just sit down and take 30 minutes to go and eat. But it is important to keep yourself nourished. Unlike me, where all I've had for breakfast this morning is a quarter of a bottle of water. That is not good to do. It is Yappy Farms. Yeah, I'm actually curious about that too, Happy. Why did you change it to Brody Farms? Is that like... Is it your nickname, or was it just something that you uh, came up with? Like, what, what's the what's the reasoning behind Brody Farms? I mean, if that's what you count as breakfast, then you go right ahead. Mullet Man with another five dollars super chat. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Is the Kenworth T800 and S S Sabetha? Ah, okay. I feel like I kind of understand where that's at now. Well, thank you, buddy. It is your fifth super chat on the live stream. Holy cow, you gotta save your money, buddy. Don't be doing that. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop it. Hold your money. Don't do that. But it is your fifth super chat of the day, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ah. So happy Brody. Are you a happy Brody? <laughs> He's <laughs> insubordinate and churlish. Now, hey, Aaron. Present. Thank you. Timothy. Bro, substitute teacher by Key and Peel is just prime comedy. Yes, he is happy Brody. Get a 60 series? Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. But because it is going to be nighttime, we are going to be rolling into the rest stop, getting ourselves only one time of sleeping, not five like we've been having happen. And we will be rolling back in the morning hours and continuing on with our day. If I don't slam it in the back. Woo, that will make you pucker. How close were we? Ooh. <laughs> Woo! All right. Well, I hope he doesn't have anywhere to be in the morning. Cause he... <laughs> do they, do they sell any underwear in that rest stop, please? <laughs> Maximizing your parking. It's 6:07 a.m. I did it again. Well, it's four o'clock in the afternoon now. It's okay. I figured out why it's happening. I'm doing that because on in Farm Sim, the enter button is also the start engine button for me. That's why it's doing that. Well, now this one's gonna be late too. Dang it! But we're not being very productive. Well, let's get on the road to this massive big butt. Big butt, big butt, big butt, big butt. I should just take the picture of me standing next to a big butt and make it an emoji. Like, just to show how small I really am. 
When I stood next to that big bud at the Farm Progress show, guys, I literally looked like an absolute ant. What's wrong with Mack trucks? There's nothing wrong with Mack trucks. I just am personally more of a Western Star Peterbilt kind of a guy. people that are taller than me and I really don't I don't despise that at all I don't think badly of that it's just that you know what some people are people just stop growing when they're perfect I just happen to hit the mark sooner than others <laughs> you're all grounded no I'm grounded y'all are ascending bros ascended we are now in Hayes Kansas though we were 171 miles away from our glorious destination. If I'd learned to stop hitting the enter button twice, we'd actually be able to get our job done. Mickey D's. I want some McDonald's. I think I've driven this pathway like probably closer, close to at least 13 times by now. Because I've seen that 76 ball how many times? Just kidding. Nah, we ain't kidding. Can't kid about how I'm short. I am short. There's no joking on that one. I'm not, I'm not necessarily short, short, because five, seven, five, eight, like that's not tremendously short, but that's shorter than you think it is. Your dog's in jail. What did he do? Did he eat the sock again? Did, <laughs> did you do that? Did you do that? Am I gonna have to rub your nose in it? I am five foot seven, at least that I know of. I can't. T I might be five foot eight now, but. I, I could guarantee I'm at least 5'7". Short King, you're dang right. Cairo with the Lord Buckwad emoji. That's right. If you guys are part of the memberships of my channel, you have the access to use the Lord Buckwad emoji. That is a, that's a Halloween costume I'm actually looking to possibly make. So I can walk around literally as Lord Farquaad. Again, a lot of people look down on me. I'd like to say I look up to a lot of people, but that's two, that technically means two things. Well, hello there, Harrison. See you finally have been joining us in today. Proud though with the Uncle Buck on a lawnmower though. And Farm Boy Kyra and Stampy with the Short King Lord Buckwad. I'm actually gonna clear my nose quick and I'm gonna change my hat up. Let's see here, what else we got for hats today? Or my bobcat hat. I haven't worn the bobcat hat in a while. We are also actually now two minutes away from being able to do the Uncle Buck's push-up, 10 push-ups every half hour we are live. So that will be coming up here in just a second, but I need to blow my nose quick because otherwise I will be stuffed up for the rest of the day and I'd rather not be. Thoughts on Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> fire. <laughs> fire. Excuse me, we have white privilege. <laughs> I was thought the show was it was like super stupid, but there was some comedy in there that was just you I'm sorry, it's funny. <clears throat> Especially when they do the whole white privilege one. That one's probably my favorite. So how do you feel with this? You're like a changed man. <laughs> <laughs> he just stood terrorizing the town. And no, Emily, I do not need a Discord. How many times do I have to tell you? I do not need anything else to try and manage in my life. Scania? I just probably should get a Scania, period. If that's the case, then I might as well just head over to American Truck. Uh, ETS, e European Truck Simulator. Lord Farquad. Huh? No, I'm Lord Large Quad. I am Cornholio. I 
Beavis. Beavis. <laughs> Well, again, because we're an America truck sim. I have to get over, though. Get over, getting 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 over. That was my bad. I did that. I saved it. I saved it. Ah, that's all right. I'm, I'm a better driver than I was yesterday, okay? Believe me. I'm a great driver. Da, 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 da. How many of you guys uh, like American Truck Sim, though? Is it one of a game that you guys enjoy? Is it kind of just a nice, relaxing game to just settle down with for the day? Is it a relaxing game? Or are you guys more of, like, Call of Duty, Farm Sim, Fortnite, Minecraft, PUBG, Clash of Clans? What do we all kind of play? What's our go-to game when we're just kind of bored or want to get away from the world for a little bit? <clears throat> got one that loves ATS. I also got to remember that uh, YouTube's thing's like 30 seconds behind compared to the other one, so sometimes it takes a little bit. No, I graduated from the eBay print my license off of the Thing Academy. It's 22, Railroader, a lot of Farm Sim 22s, Street Outlaws. Oh, jeez. Got drag racing in that. Bro, go! Oh, for crying out loud. Call of Duty. I don't know what that one is. Hunter Call of the Wild. I thought about playing that a bit, but it's just, I can't. I don't want to sit behind the update, and I never really hunted before in my life anyway, so I could just... It, to me, it's not as of an appealing of game. Forza? Dude, I love Forza. Forza is my my, my go-to game. If I'm just around to, like, cruise around and hang out and have fun, I do Forza. I will just cruise up and down the interstate for hours in that game. Oh, yeah, definitely. The G920? That's basically what I have. It's just the opposite version of it. Because I would suppose that has the one little panel off to the right, like the gear shift has the, the, uh, what would be your A, your X, X triangle, circle, whatever the logos are for that, the dumb thumb pad, and then the four buttons. Definitely recommend if you were playing that. iRacing, it's great for that. The G29, the G27, and the G920 are great. Like, I want to get serious about gaming, but I'm not here to be an adamant sim racer because Mazda Racing, while they're getting into a lot of the stuff that they got, they're more of a you are dedicated to the cause because they have the ability to pop the wheel off. They're, they're just way more sturdily built. They're a lot more immersive in what you're doing. There are a lot of Formula One guys use their stuff. And we are now three minutes once again past. Ha! Laugh at him. Ha! 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 But what we're going to do right now is we got to do our push-ups again for the half hour for being live, except we are three minutes late on this one, so we're going to get a couple extra ones in. But if you guys are new to the Rental Man Bucks streaming platform, we do Bucks Gym, 10 push-ups every half hour, though our live stream is active. We have now been live for one hour and 33 minutes, coming up on 144, so we're going to do this as 14 again, because by the time I get down, that's what we got to do. Let's get our workout in, and we will continue on trucking. We have one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fantastic. Let's get ourselves back to the trucking department of the game. Get old Jer Bear back in the shot. And we will keep on trucking. Favorite tractor is a John Deere 5020. My clock is fast. Nah, we just are having fun. Time flies when you're having fun. That's all right. 
right. That's why I always love the G27. The G27 is not console friendly, though. That's the only problem. But the G27 had everything built in, and it came as one. You had the shifter, you had the pla you had the buttons, you had three pedals, and the wheel. Never looked back since. Pretty good crowd. We are having ourselves uh, an eventful morning. I should get breakfast again. But you guys have to understand with the crossplays, as much as I would love to do a lot more of that, I'm only one person. So I can't be doing it every single weekend because it's already strenuous enough to just try and get stuff going and have streams and keep your head on keep your head on straight. So I love it. I would love to do that more with you guys, but sometimes it's a time thing. Could I have downshifted to go up that hill? Yes, but I'm too lazy. It does. It really does, Dan. Setting this, setting up a stream and getting things ready to go, it takes a lot of time. Now, I do have a cross-platform stream itself that is technically set up with console mods. But it's the whole system of getting involved. It's the whole system as a whole is what is what makes it difficult to do. So far, I'm kind of tired this Saturday, but I also know that it's if I went and got something to eat, then we would probably be doing a lot better than we, sh than we would be. But we're going to keep on rolling. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're doing great. Saturday's been doing fantastic. It's supposed to be really nice this afternoon. I'll probably get outside and go do a walk or something. It'll be a very eventful day. We are seven miles from Garden City. So let's get trucking, finish off this load. And probably go and pick something else up. Yeah, I hear that. Time has definitely been an enemy. Gonna need to pop over in this old lane. Uh. No, I don't think they took anything off for that. You should be able, if you have a wheel and it has the ability to shift, then you should be able to shift. You just have to set it up in your code. Make sure your gamepad is able to register on the game to be read, and then it should work just fine. Uh, actually, yeah, it has been really nice for us up in the great state of Nebraska. All right, here we go. We're gonna hopefully be dropping off our big bud. One quick readjustment and we should be good. It's supposed to be like 68 degrees here today. It's supposed to be really warm, but I can't remember if it's supposed to be windy or not. There we go. Now we're getting it in the lines. Bingo. There is that. And once again, it is late because I decided to oversleep again at the gas station. Uh, out of my videos is hit film. Apologies, guys. Uh, I've like I'm on like the tail end of a giant congestion wave that I had from doing all of the streaming stuff last week on TikTok, so I'm trying to like not make disgusting sounds, but I gotta clear my nose out otherwise we're not gonna be able to talk. But yes, the editing software is HitFilm. There's two versions. There's HitFilm Express, which is the free one, and then there's HitFilm Pro, which is what I got. Either way you do it, they both work. HitFilm Pro just gives you all the extra things that you can technically buy as separate add-ons. You just have to have an account with FX Home, which is completely free. So it's February 17th days. I have no idea what that means, but I do appreciate for you hanging around with us for as long as you have. 
<clears throat> I'm over on the eastern side of the state. I'm over by Omaha. Let's see what else we can get. What else can we grab? From Garden City, what else can we take? We go to Oklahoma with a sprayer. Ooh, or we go down to Texas. We go down to Dallas. Should we do a forge harvester or a sprayer? We don't have a dozer, though. That's the problem. And if we do, then it's probably a very short trip. <clears throat> Let's set up a poll for that. We do a do. Do we do the sprayer or do we do the harvester? What are we hauling? What are we hauling? What are we hauling? There we go. We'll leave that up for just a little bit and I'll kind of get an idea. Because we got 122 people in here right now. Oh, attaboy. You got to get that on there. We're at 50 50 percent right now. We got leading on the harvester. So here is the harvester if you guys can look at. So there's actually no. So there's our sprayer. Sprayer goes to Oklahoma. And the forage harvester goes to Dallas. It's so like a New Holland. We had a New Holland forest harvester or a haggy sprayer, basically. <clears throat> 6 p.m. in the UK. Hey, I, that, mm, yeah, I mean, 41's not bad. Around here, 41 is short weather if you're in a Midwestern. Looks like we're gonna be taking up the forage harvester. That is what I've seen a majority of the uh, thing going towards. And I believe we're actually already in the place. So that's convenient. Oop, that's convenient. Now where do we got to load this thing? All the way back over here. You not a member anymore? Oh. Well, that's all right, buddy. You're still here, though, aren't you? That's what all that matters, isn't it? We love having you guys all out here. It's 50 up in Michigan. That's actually pretty warm. But yeah, you guys just being out here. That's what that's what really all is that matters. We're all having fun, aren't we? Ah, dang it, I took a little bit too short. Yeah, see? Fantastic Farming's got it. He's got the idea. There we go. Now we're getting this figured out. Fun fact, if you guys did not pick up on it at all, in the Need for Speed Heat uh, video that came out on Thursday, how many of you guys picked up on the very end of the video where I actually dumped a snippet of Freebird in there? Because we did. I put in a small, very small little snippet when I sent the Chevy right off the side of a cliff. We did play Freebird. Wait, what the heck? That is not no yellow. Wait a st Okay, so apparently we're hauling a Fent forage, forage harvester. Hello from Texas. Well, actually, that's exactly where we're heading. We're heading right down to Dallas. The heart of Dallas, probably. <clears throat> you want to... Hey, you know what? Like I said, you guys don't have to do that. It's just an option for you guys there if you are able to or if you want to. You guys do not have to do it, though, because you guys just being here is all that matters. We have fun. We're just here to have the fun. It's up to you guys what else, what else extra you want to do. I'm going to get mad at you for doing it, but... I appreciate it. Appreciate it all the way. Let's keep rolling though with this bad boy. Do they even have a forge harvester? I don't know what they would use it for down there. I don't really think they're cutting a lot of silage in the state of Texas, but I could be wrong. More towards the north side, probably. Oh, there was a rest stop there. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up. We're, we're gonna do this in the morning. Watch out, Mustang. Out of the way. Out of the way, buddy. Out of the way. You just back up into the intersection. This is what we do. How's my day? It's going pretty good right now. I missed my corner. Because I'm going to go down to the rest stop, top off with fuel, as well as rest for the night. And then we'll be driving in the morning with this glorious Peterbilt. 
El Paso. We're heading to Dallas, so welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a slight, uh, there's no light there. Oops. Bro, we got some Tyson chicken nuggets, though. I think my favorite trailer, though, with the real brand easily has to be, easily, easily has to be the Ikea trailer. We got a new Holland dealer, that or it's a Caterpillar dealer, one of the two. Don't oversleep this time? I'm gonna try my best. We're going from Garden City now to Dallas, Texas. Let's just top off the fuel tank quick just to make sure we have enough fuel to get down there. I don't think we're gonna have to fuel up, but I've also been wrong before and there's probably a very good chance I will be wrong again. Thank you, Chevron, for providing us with some very nice low sulfur diesel. I think that's what we're going to any things, but let's get on the road. At least I got to sleep over here quick. I'm going to be that guy and take up like six stalls, because you know what? I can't. My favorite food? I don't really have a favorite food. One time. It is now seven o'clock, so give us uh, just a little bit of time and we will be in the daytime. Let's roll. We did it correctly, we didn't oversleep. Buying a mower, what kind of mower? Or what size of mower? Is it at least a 300 series plus? Nice parking? Yeah, I know. I'm a fantastic parker, aren't I? We need a red line moment. We'll get a red line moment going up the ramp. Don't you worry about that. You're gonna have to ask him. Well, you ask him. Oh, we got a Big Mac. We got Big M on this freeway. We're chip. Wait, is that a Chick-fil-A truck? Oh, we got food trucks. Come here. No, no, it's not Chick-fil-A. Morning, all. Well, good morning, Cody. Welcome for just joining in. If you are just joining in. Get a roll call we're all of 124 of us coming from this wonderful saturday now afternoon as we just hit the afternoon parts we got gp gp you clearly saw me shift lanes before you jumped over that was entirely his fault minnesota south carolina cali tennessee minnesota louisiana i really want to play louisiana saturday night but we can't sadly Missouri, Lafayette, Indiana, Colorado. Roll call? No, there is not. At least not to my knowledge. Manitoba, Kentucky. Almost tried to go to the Kentucky Farm Show. Cylinder 5 has left the chat. Sweet home, Alabama. Michigan, Wyoming, Pennsylvania. Devon, UK. Nice. Kansas. Illinois. You still, have, still haven't left Illinois there, Ferry? He's, he's, he's chilling. Ontario, Minnesota, Idaho, nice, West Virginia, Oklahoma, leave this thing in neutral for just a second, we will be right back with driving after these short commercial light, uh, stoplights, Hawaii, nice, uh, the Aloha State, Missouri, Canada, and Ontario. Ah, uh, very nice, very, very nice. Bro, I want to go down that water slide so bad. I, like, really want to go down that water slide. Anybody else want to go down that water slide? Because I really want to go down that water slide. It's like Margaritaville on steroids. That's like a Great Wolf's Lodge. I guarantee that's probably what that is. You know, that sounds like the most logical sentence I've ever heard anybody say. Like, 
Yeah, I'm stuck in a snowstorm. My parents are in Tahiti. Like, bro, what? This GP trans... This, this, this GP truck's starting to make me mad. Anybody coming? Come on, baby. Dollar General, that's who it was. And that, my friends, is how you double overtake in a Peterbilt. You let it put the pedal down to the floor and you just book it. San Antonio. I was in San Antonio last summer, actually. It's the only time I've ever... Well, it's the last time I've been down to Texas. The, the last time I've been down to Texas since then was probably when I was like five and I was in Houston. I don't think breadstick's here. I haven't seen breadstick yet. Later, you gotta go crowd, all right. I'll make sure I keep an eye on my uh, notifications to make sure you're seeing if you're still keeping up on your push-ups, buddy. You and F you and Wolf have been the most dedicated people to that challenge. Y'all are the legends. Y'all are the y'all are the troopers. Let her eat, guys. There's nothing to eat. If I were, there was something to eat, I'd be eating it right now. Literally. I can't eat this though. I gotta drink this. Goodbye, Cylinder 6. Basically, I'd say my driving's been better overall, though, the last couple times we've been driving in this. Besides, like, the five exits and the four people that I've cut off. Well, if we're going to give it the beans, then I'm just going to drop a gear and... There you go. There's your beans. Because I'd rather not lose my cargo, so there you go. Hey, that's a great that's a great way to do it though, Wolf. If that's what's giving you some great motivation and just getting out and just doing some generic basic exercises is what helps, you go right ahead, man. You keep it you keep pushing, you keep going hard. I myself have le at least luckily never experienced that kind of a uh, problem in my life, mainly due to the fact that I was just built more with an athletic build, but I did actually have some problems a couple years ago where, I mean, I look at some older pictures of myself, guys, I, I actually had some, some weight on me. I had some love handles. My face was a lot more full, like just chubby wise. I'm like, I did not really care for that version. I don't want to go back to what I was like three years ago. I like where I'm at right now. I just need to start getting the part where I eat better, like eat more in reality. I need to eat more. And then I need to start exercising more. Because if I sit like this every single day for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on end, what is that gonna do for me? Jack diddly squat. 167 likes though. What song is playing at the moment? I would have to look it up quick. Hang on. The song that was playing was uh, Tearing Down These Walls. That was the name of the song. I... I don't know that. Tearing Down These Walls, that was the name of the song. Uh, probably get the G29 in my opinion. Because I know the G29 is compatible between PC and PlayStation Xbox. Yeah, I'm going straight anyway, so. The arcade! I want to go to the arcade! Want to hear some great news? Maybe. What is this great news? Look at all them Jerry's. Oh. 
You know what? And that's all right. Everybody is built differently, and there's just ways that each things we find what works best for us. Some people, they are able to do that where, like, you can basically slam 15 cans of alcohol, and you never get, you never get a beer gut in your life, then you have the other person that can only drink, like, two, and for some odd reason, they're 400 pounds. Like, just everybody is built so differently that we all have different ways that we adapt to stuff. So if you can find what works best for you and what keeps your motivation going, then that's really all that matters. I found out that keeping myself lower stress, eating a bit more, and just generally getting out and doing exercise, I myself feel so much better day by day. And that's why I try and preach to people, is just do what works best for you. Because that feeling stressed, feeling worn out, feeling tired, feeling just sick, mentally sick, it really does put a toll on you. Nate's a pretty bad driver? Absolutely, just terrible. Definitely the worst driver? Yeah, Nate is just terrible. Nice, nice. You get that promotion there, Cody. Get your promotion. I gotta try and, well, I gotta learn how to promote myself. I need to learn how to get the next step up in this job. I, I really need to find a way to talk to the boss. If I could talk to my boss about getting a pay raise, that'd be fantastic. Hey, yo, we got a deer combine. We actually have a deer green. Nice, nice. Oh, I got an idea. I'm gonna get a pulse set up quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta ask the question. We do this like every single week. Every single week. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Because it's my favorite. This is my favorite kind of pizza. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Yes or no? We'll leave this one up for a little bit. Excuse me. What truck is this? This is the Peterbilt 389. It is the 389 Viper. You can find this in the Steam Workshop for completely free. I am just using this as my daily right now. This is my Andy Clean inspired one. I have another one that's red. That one's got an 18 speed. That's a heavy haul truck. How dare you all? How dare you put 60% no? You guys are disgraceful. We can't be friends. To all of you 60%ers that don't like pineapple on your pizza, we can't be friends. It's my personal favorite. If we're ordering a pizza, half that sucker's gonna have to be pineapple. Yo, that's cool. We are three minutes away though from the push-up clock, so I gotta be watching that. There we go. That's the world's largest intersection I've ever seen in my life. Like for a two lane highway, that is the largest intersection I think I've ever seen. Wait, does everybody have to stop? Oh, of course the crossways don't stop, but these guys stop. Come on, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The minions meme. But full pineapple? Absolutely. That's the only way to do it. We got some open field. Let's get this thing some means. Come on, baby. Up the hill. Listen to that caterpillar roar. We are in the Lone Star State. We are in the great state of Texas. 107 miles to Shamrock. Here we go. All of our Texas viewers, get your get your stars in the chat. We are now in the Lone Star State. If you are from the great state of Texas out of 121 people, put a little star in the chat for me. Does the motor have a blow off? If you're talking about the, <laughs> yes it does. There you go. Let me get a little bit higher RPM for you and you can hear that sucker. There you go. There's your blow off. Oh, 
Have I ever been snowmobiling? Yes, I have. I've been snowmobiling twice in my life, but I've driven a snowmobile only once. Drop her in two and give her the shoe. Okay. Cylinder 5 has left the chat. The entire motor just blew up. All piston rings have left. They are done. I have been to Top Golf once. It was for my brother-in-law's uh, bachelor party when he was getting married to my sister. And my buddy Jaren hit the ball off to the side and it bounced off the wall. Like, like this man could have shanked the ball anywhere and he hits it right. Like, he's looking out at the place and he hits the ball off the, the, the wall to his right. Like, bro, how do you do that? Jerry, Jerry, we got one star in here. Yo, we got our Texas viewer. The one lone star, the one loner from the Lone Star State. Devon! Yo! Welcome in, Devon. I'm, I'm losing it. Oh, if anybody is, uh, is curious, I just blew up my motor. I thought I had that in a higher gear when I did that, but nope, we went from 13th to 7. Push-up time? Yes, it is, and we are only one minute late this time, so thank you for reminding me. If you guys have not known or are just tuning in, we are going to go to our Bucks Gym portion of the live stream where every half hour that we are live, now just pushing over the two hour mark, we drop down and do 10 glorious push-ups to keep myself up and moving and physically active while we are live streaming. I gotta do one additional one because I am one minute late. But let's do our 11 push-ups and get right back to trucking. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Fantastic. Let's represent old Marty with Prairie State. And keep on trucking. Keep having ads. That is because I have YouTube uh, mon managing the advertisement stuff on this. Devon, though, with the Prairie State Tratter and the Uncle Buck on a lawnmower. When will the door close? We'll find out, hopefully after this break. There's a gap, there's a gap, take it. Oh, he's taking it with me. He's like, nah, man, I'm going with you. We got more Lone Stars. Out of gents, out of gents. Will this, will this, oh, wow, Ford. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Looks like it's gonna be raining. Are we gonna get our first rainstorm of the stream today? Welcome to Canadian. Oh, you there, bud. If you're gonna be talking like us, we're gonna to have to go out to talk to the town. So welcome to the town of Canadian. Population 285. <clears throat> I did see the new 9RX. Not a big fan. At least of the front. The rest of the tractor doesn't look half bad, but I'm not a big fan of the front end. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It is 5 o'clock somewhere. I think it was 5 o'clock of someone in the UK earlier they were saying. I don't really get what we're saying why for. Oh, that's right. We got to get Jerry back in here. Jerry, come back. Jerry, come back. You can blame it all on me. Cody, though, has gifted five glorious memberships to our fantastic viewers today. So welcome, Keith Trucker. To, uh, no, Keith Trucker, Brody, Country Boys, and Chad. You guys are now members of the Rental Man Club for this month. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cody, for doing that. Appreciate you, bud. You did not have to do that. But now we have five brand new members today. Well, in total, I think six. I have to scroll down to be able to see that. We're starting to even out the poll a little bit at 54%, but no, we have six brand new members today. What, what a day, what a day. Yeah, 
Yes, the 715, I have plans to use that at some point, definitely. There we go, you're back, well welcome back. They're at the car wash. I'm working at the car wash, yeah. I should run it. I think I actually have a Detroit in the in the Diamond Rio. I'm pretty sure it's a. I'm pretty sure it's a Detroit that's in that truck. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Good old whopping 1.9 miles to the gallon. Yeah. An 8R with a 20 series hood and grill. Oh, jeez. Just, just, just imagine, imagine John Deere Sound Guards, but it has a modern power plant that does not run deaf. Holy cow, you got an 8R's engine. Just put an 8R engine and a 4440's frame, like, what? It's 127. It is currently 1229 where I'm at, so I read that you were an hour ahead of me. Amarillo skies. We are not shaking it off, though. We are keeping it on. We're not doing that old Taylor Swift stuff. Don't don't you do don't you be bringing them Swifties in here. John No has gifted the one membership, and that is going to go to the Redneck Pickle. Redneck Pickle, welcome to the Rental Man Buck Club for the month, buddy. And thank you for gifting that wonderful membership there, John. I appreciate that. That means us so now to seven total brand new members today. 135 current viewers, 185 likes for the day and 1,200 views overall. Right, we always usually just like to have a lot of just casual fun when we do streams on the weekends. Push-ups, we actually just did those. It is now 27 minutes until our next check-in time in two and a half hours. So give me just a second. Let me think of that in military time. So that would be 630, correct? I do love this truck. It's a Caterpillar engine, but we are driving a Peterbilt 389 hauling a forage harvester right now. Hello. Oh, that's, a, oh, that's an international. Yo, we got Subway at McDonald's. Oh, we couldn't take it to the drive-thru on that one. Sadly. Ah, I am getting better at reading military time. I need to set my phone to military time so I can start reading it like that. That way I know universal time. How long am I streaming? Ah, uh, the problem is I would love to say that I'm going to be live until like three hours in, but that puts it at like 1, 1 15, 1 30. And I really kind of need to go and get something to eat before the place that I know has food closes. So we might shut this off at about one o'clock, which is half an hour. Keep it a little shorter today. Plus, we might, I might, depending on what we're doing, I might go live on TikTok with my phone tonight at the Grove. So we might have a little bit of live music tonight on TikTok. I haven't decided yet, but... I might try and do that and just test the waters and see how that does. So if you guys have TikTok and you keep your eye out for it, it'd be a lot later at night, probably 8 o'clock to 2 a.m. time. That would be when I might be going live on TikTok with my phone for the Grove. Yo, yeah, we might be heading to the Grove there, Devon. We might be shutting off the stream here in about half an hour. I wish I could have went till 2 p.m., but... Uh, 
If I if I would have eaten breakfast, this has been a different story. But I didn't get enough time in to really eat because I couldn't fall asleep last night. By the time I woke up and got moving this morning, it was like 9:55, and I'm like, well, we gotta get streaming. So, yeah. Get a big look. Well, that's kind of dumb. Why can't why, why are you breaking your TikTok there, Wolf? Why why are you doing that, man? Why are you doing that? Hmm, interesting. Yes, very interesting. I'm trying to figure out what brand this thing would be classified as, because it's not. It's got the colors of a fence, but it's got the shape of a jaguar. Ooh, that was threading the needle. This poor charger's about to get sandwiched. Look at the beautiful landscape, though, of this Texas Plains. John himself now has joined the Uncle Buck Club. Thank you, buddy. You are now number eight on the day. I didn't know you that you weren't a member before. Welcome in there, buddy. Thank you for gifting a membership as well. No. No, I think that was a different John then. Is that, are you the same John that gifted the one, or are you a different John? Now I feel bad. Oh, dude, everybody's already got your information. What's one more? You made it to the stream? Well, welcome in, buddy. We appreciate you having you here on this fantastic Saturday afternoon. I hope you guys are having a great one. If you guys have not already, please consider hitting that little like button down below. We know everybody's able to do that, but also if you enjoy content, and you like to keep up on what we're doing, be sure to hit that little subscribe button and click the bell. Because we're on the race to 100,000 public subscribers by the end of this year and 60,000 followers right now. We are chasing on the TikTok platform. I stream live on both YouTube and TikTok. YouTube, we stream live on Saturdays starting roughly around 10 a.m. Central Time and estimated end times are 2 p.m. Central Time. We also stream live on TikTok throughout the week, Monday through Friday, as many of those nights as I physically can, starting at roughly 7 p.m. Central Time and going till 10 p.m. Central Time. Now that we have all of your updates, let's continue back to trucking on this glorious Saturday afternoon. And as it is said, drive safe, be smart, and don't ever drive a red Kenworth, because they did no freight liners. So they just look like garbage. I honestly think at some point, yes, the TikTok will pass the YouTube just because it's a lot easier, in my opinion, for me to grow on TikTok. Bro, I'm not even in the intersection. Okay, I'm in the crosswalk. Like, I'm not even in the intersection. Now I'm not in the crosswalk. I mean, in all fairness, though, we're already almost halfway. Like, I'm already almost growing halfway as much to my YouTube channel as I am on TikTok. Like, TikTok's already almost... I'm trying to piece my words together. I'm pretty sure I'm getting close to, like, half of the amount of subs that I have on YouTube I have on TikTok now. Is that a party bus? I mean, it could be. It, it really could be. I'm just waiting to go. Oh, I wish if I turned on the beacons for the truck and turned them on on the trailer too, uh, for the tractor too, that'd be funny. Harvester. Keep on rolling, baby. I need to find a way to pull the CAD models for like all these restaurants and stuff, put them in farm sim as placeables. Bro, do you know how badly I want a placeables of Denny's? Just Denny's. Literally Denny's. Race the bus. We're gonna have to chase the bus down. We could chase him down though. Let's chase down that bus. We got we got places to be. Gonna go play FS22? Nice. Denny's placeable? Yo, me too. You got the FS Lice, though, from John Stock coming in, as well as the Uncle Buck on a lawnmower. 
I love those ones. Those are good ones. What's the song playing? Uh, it is Balloon. The name of the song is Balloon by... Gotta wait for it again. Yara Myers? Yara Myers Balloon is the name of the song right now. Grind them till you find them? Nah, but we're catching up to that bus. How fast are we going? We're going 74 miles an hour. <laughs> we're beating the bus now. That's right, you're getting smoked by a guy pulling a harvester. Getting wrecked. You're just, I'm the best driver of all time. Yeah, I'm totally the best driver. I'm a Oma Award. Best driver and best driver in all of America. Truck Sam, everybody. I'm your best driver. I will be your guide. Dude, the guy in that mirror of that Freightliner's got me going, what the heck is wrong with him? Super T Transport. Well, I'm about to pass you up. Yeah, that's right, get wrecked. Don't promote Brody, what is wrong with you? Guys, if you want to go check out some even more Farm Sim content from another great creator that I've actually worked side by side with at one point in time when we were doing gold mining, go check out Brody Farms, formerly known as Happy Farms. Brody, if you actually would like to drop your link to your channel in the chat, please feel free to do that right now. You guys can click that, find him, follow him, subscribe to him, and go like his content. 197. Well, that's right. Let's roll over that 200 mark and see if we can actually, let's see if we can do 300 likes today. I'll just see if we can do 300. We don't really have the like goal doing anymore for YouTube. We just kind of do the push-ups every 10 minutes, every half hour, which those are actually coming up now in 14 minutes. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter because I got like $2.7 billion to do, so honestly, I can care less. Uh, about the swing. Oh, ha, ha, you can't do me. I'm not speeding. The OTFS Lice logo. Good. Well, Spence Brody Farms is not in here. Dr. Sheep took care of that himself. So if you guys want to click on that, there is Happy Farms, otherwise now known as Brody Farms Link. If you guys want to check that out, pop right back in here. Go check out old Brody. Give him a like. Also, go check out Dr. Sheep. Uh, Mr. Sheep, if you'd like to put your thing in there, I know you are still on the race for your subscriber goals. So that way you can have your majorly long streams. I'm still waiting for you to plant like a thousand trees. That's my that's the fun one I'm waiting on. But Mr. Sheep, if you'd also like to put yours in there too, if you guys are liking chemistry content and things based around scientific experiments, go give Dr. Sheep a follow. He's also a great friend of mine. Actually, in the area, I graduated with him. Not in my class, but at the same school. You're currently screaming. You're, you're, you're currently screaming. Yes. If you guys would like to go watch Dr. Sheep scream right now, he is currently screaming live for 900 minutes. He is screaming for 900 minutes, everybody. Think about that. That's a lot of screaming. now in Wichita Falls, though. Wait a minute. Hold on. We're in Wichita Falls. There's Fort Worth. I thought Wichita... F I'm so lost. Where am I at right now? Yeah, I'm in Texas. I thought Wichita Falls was a Kansas city. Huh. You learn something new every day, don't you? Welcome to Wichita Falls, Captain Texas. Hey, we just rolled over the 200 like mark, though, for the stream. Thank you, gents. I do appreciate that. We're going to keep on rolling. Let's see if we can do 300 likes. If you guys haven't hit that like button already, we're going to race to the 300 like goal for today. And our push-ups are now going to be in 11 minutes to do our next set of 10. But I am going to be shutting the stream off here in about 15 minutes, so we will not be live for very much longer, as i got to get myself something to eat. And i got to hope that place that I need to get food from is still open, or they'll let me eat. Our 
I'll try and stop in on your stream, buddy, while I go to lunch or I get something for lunch. So we'll have some fun on that. Once I'm done, please, guys, go over to uh, Dr. Sheep as he's going to be streaming on his Minecraft, building off on his 900-minute stream. That is a long stream. I feel horrible for you. BRB, all right. Push-ups are in exactly 10 minutes. Cody has now been a member of the... Oh, there's a there's a guardrail there. Cody now has been a member of the Rental Man Butt Club for three months. Keep up the videos and great work. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for also gifting all those wonderful five memberships to our glorious new members. Sometimes, sometimes wording is hard. Finding words is hard, but thank you, Cody. I do appreciate that, buddy. We can't do this. We couldn't do this job without you guys. Your guy, you are all what make this. A bleh. I can't think, man. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I can't say anything. But you guys will make this channel possible. I'm a full-time content creator on the YouTube platform as well as a content creator on the TikTok platform. If you guys want to find some great content between those two areas. We also have a secondary channel that is called my Rental Man Bulk channel. It is pretty much geared towards the general fitness, health, and wellness that I try to promote. But I also do the same short content from that channel on this channel. Me speak good or word. Don't mess me up, Wolf. I'm already messed up as it. <laughs> But hello to everybody that is joining us in. We are currently right now trucking from Garden City, Kansas, all the way down to Dallas, Texas. We are hauling a forage harvester on a low boy trailer with my Peterbilt 389 Viper. This is one of my favorite custom rigs that I've done. Earlier in the stream, we were hauling pesticides, but I wanted to believe that it was uh, Andy Clean, the world's greatest farm soap. This little Prius better not cut me off. And of course he did. I should have just ran him off the road. I really should have just ran him off the road. You have a timer for push-ups? Well, I need to get a timer set up so that way I can not just rely off looking on the clock. TikToks is a little bit easier to see because TikTok stuff is all built into one. So I look on my right side of the screen and I will see the timer. It's in the bottom right. And the timer's like really big. On YouTube, I have to look in the tiny top left corner of it. It's not bad, but compared to TikTok, it's a lot easier to catch the time looking at that than it is YouTube's. Hey, Peter. I'm a, hey, Lois. I'm a car. <laughs> the Peter car. We are in Fort Worth, Texas, though. So this is always, I always kind of find it funny that the more locations that I kind of travel to in the US that are like actual landmarks on American Truck Sim, like how I go visit them to see how accurate they are. Like San Antonio, Texas, when I finally went down there, I'm like, wait a minute, American Truck Sim has San Antonio and the interstate runs right through the heart of downtown. I need to go see something. And I looked at it and sure as can be, it was exactly like the way I thought it was going to be. What's well, Andy Clean? So Andy Clean is a high, high foam action farm soap created by Andy. I still to this day can't really remember how to pronounce his last name. But his name is Andy. He is from Canada. And he likes to keep all of his equipment, farm equipment, and his, his vehicles for that matter, just clean. Helps with maintenance, helps with the longevity of your stuff. And he just, it's a, it's a farm soap product that you can pick up from your local John Deere dealer. It can be found anywhere, and if it doesn't have it in stores, then you can get a custom order from that. I actually have a link to his website that you can look at his merchandise that he actually sells as well. But he's a great guy, fantastic man. I am so glad I met this dude. And he's given me a lot of great opportunities, and I really want to help work with him, build his business, as he helps me build mine. You have a question, though. What's that question? Uh, well, if I could see that we are going to be uh, playing a back brook sim today, I just wanted to let you know, Lois, that I am very disappointed in you. Hey, Chris, come look at this guy. He's going to get on the interstate. 
<laughs> don't, 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 don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Don't do it. Don't, 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 no. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I sadly will not be able to play with uh, play FS22 with you, buddy. I got a, I got a lot of them. I got a lot of stuff that I definitely have to do on my own schedule that doesn't even really allow me to uh, play even with my closest friends anymore. Doing a stream where it's all cross-platform is probably the best way for you guys to end up playing with me in a game. Or if, like, American Truck Sim one of these weekends, I'm smart enough to set it up where you guys are able to join as a convoy, and we all just truck together for a weekend or so. And then even, like, Forza and stuff, but I just, I haven't really had the cognitive time to piece that together. To Joe. <laughs> I can't really do Joe's voice, sadly. <laughs> oh, Kuska. What is it for Kuska? I can dig it. Hey, Kronk. But it got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, I gotta pay attention. I have an exit coming up here. I'm not gonna slam into the back of a Mustang. No, 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 no. We have come this far on this trip. We are 14 miles away. I am not doing this. We are going to go right past this roadblock because I am not about to go on an entire full-blown loop that I know they always send me on. I got things to do and places to be. You're going to have to watch out, buddy. <laughs> ain't telling me no. You ain't telling me no. <laughs> ATS on console would definitely be a great thing. You guys would probably really, really, really enjoy this game, but sadly, yeah, it is only a PC game, so... Honestly, a top five game I would recommend you guys getting for just kind of having fun, and it really is a lot more fun if you have a steering wheel. Oh, jeez. A 24-hour convoy stream, yes. Ah, that's probably why they shut down the interstate. Mm. That hurt. Uh, eventually, I'll probably be down with Grant for spring planting, and I'll be helping him out with Spencer, but for right now, I don't have any guaranteed videos to do with them, but that's probably going to be the, the closest one that'll be upcoming. When we're going to be doing that, or when I will be joining them down there, is beyond me. What did they, what did they miss? Oh, uh, well, I'm turning right here. That's dumb. What? Oh, there's a stop sign there. That's probably why, he, that's probably why he was stopping. I guarantee you, there's a very good reason that's probably why he stopped. No, we are not absolutely, I, no, not even in the slightest. I could set something up and actually be smart about it, and we could probably stream for a, like we started, say, 11 o'clock, and we go till like, 4 or 5, but for a weekend, I'd have to have that, like, time set up and scheduled and penciled in for a schedule. Otherwise, no, I would not be able to just drop and do that at the drop of a hat. Security check in progress. Uh, yeah, there's like 14 dropped missing wires and burned stuff. Why did I do that? I couldn't. Oh, never mind. No, I couldn't. I was like, why did I just go to the other side? Top three games you would like on console? Uh, well, the problem is I don't play console anymore, so I couldn't really tell you. Uh, I would have liked to see games that I played on console, like I could play them on the PC. I'd have liked to see John Deere drive green. I would have liked to see, like, the for some odd reason, like, Wii games. Yes, Just, I want to see. I want to see Wii Sports Resort on the PlayStation Five. Can we get that to happen, please? Where on earth is this thing supposed to go? I think it's right here. Is it over here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Found it. I found it! 
That is a tight spot. Why on earth am I dropping this off here? That makes no logical sense at all. We are now two hours and 30 minutes live into this live stream, so I'm going to drop down and do my 10 glorious push-ups. It gives us seven additional minutes left of this live. Actually, you know what? I think since we are wrapping up on this last one, we are going to finish off our stream right there. I know this is a shorter live stream of two hours and 30 minutes, but I need to go and get something to eat, and I'd rather walk in there with five minutes to spare than no minutes at all. I did not know that that trailer moved. If you hit that, and I didn't know I was that close. So... We are going to be wrapping up the end of our live stream today by doing our 10 push-ups to end out Buck's Gym for the half-hour stream. If you guys could go check out Dr. Sheep, he is currently live on his YouTube channel, I believe, with the playing of Minecraft in a 900-minute stream. Give that man a follow. Give that man some people to talk to. He needs it. But that is an excellent job, our only one that we did today, besides, you know, running into that cargo trailer. But... Thank you all for coming out here for a fantastic Saturday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and keep, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna attempt it at some point. I don't know exactly how, but if you guys have TikTok, I might try and do a little bit of streaming tonight at the White Live College Party for the Royal Grove. Get you guys some live footage from there. But otherwise, I will see you guys all uh, at the Monday night, at least on TikTok. And then hopefully we will have another video coming out Tuesday for YouTube. Other than that, I will see you guys all later in the next one. This is the Rental Man out. Hasta la vista.